Hello everybody. So have any of you checked your cabin air filter recently? Most cars have them. There's some vehicles that don't have them. Like for instance my F-150 does not have a cabin air filter. And in most cases they're found behind the glove box. But in the case of the Corvette it's it's by the firewall. You gotta open the the hood to access it so I'm gonna open the hood there's the vehicle information in case you ever need that now on the vehicles I have the C51 package I believe those have a uh, some lines that go across here so you might have to disconnect them to get access to the cabin air filter but they'll be quick quick disconnects kind of like this just push them slide them out push the clip so it'll still be pretty easy it's just got a clip you pull up a cover Pull that out and then slide it out. I mean, it's just got a little bit of dust, a little bit of dirt. This I can just shake it off and it'll be just fine. This is the car has 11,000 miles, roughly about two years. The maintenance interval is every 30,000 miles according to the dealership. I used to work on cars and I used to see a lot of customers cars where their cabin air filters were really dirty, they'd have mold, leaves. So this filter is mainly just for your health so you don't breathe in all that stuff when you turn your AC. So, so you can see that it's really easy to get this replaced and I called the dealership I was just kind of curious to, to see how much they charge and labor just to replace that filter and it was 48 bucks yeah, I mean 48 bucks for something so easy like that but it's just in the way that the dealerships charge uh, book time so for instance, four tenths, which a tenth of an hour is six minutes, so four tenths was 24 minutes. Now that you got shops charging $120 an hour, so that's $2 a minute, so 24 minutes comes out to be 48 bucks. Which you figure 24 minutes might sound fair you know by the time you go up to the counter they write up your vehicle a tech goes out there pulls it in the shop changes the filter out parks it and then you're on your way but there's a lot of things like that where only takes a few minutes and you can be saving a little bit of money plus it's another way where you can like play around with your car learn a little bit about it tinker with it simple stuff like that it's darn cat in the engine bay get the flip out of there You know, sometimes I got into, I open up the, the garage and then next thing I know, there's darn cats running around, but I mean, it don't, it don't do any harm to it, but I got to watch them sometimes. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And thanks for watching.